Hello, everybody. We are back again here in your home, your car, your phone, wherever you're watching today. And we are so glad that you are indeed watching today. You know us. We are uh, IGBN News. I'm Minister Sherry Gallagher, and I'm here with... Prophetess Nona Thomas. Amen. And I'm so glad to be here with you. Aren't you glad to be here with us? I them? am. I am. Because, you know, every time we we come together to, to share news with the audience, to just talk about the goodness of Jesus, it's a privilege and it's an honor. Amen. Praise God. Mm-hmm. Well, you know how we do it here. We love to begin with the word of God. Because, you know, the word says... That is the only thing that lasts. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> now you didn't preach. Everything you didn't drop else the mic right there. will pass away. Yes, ma'am. But, <laughs> but the word. word. But the word. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to uh, uh, quote a scripture that was my mother's favorite scripture. In fact, when she had a little show of her own, she used to end every show with this scripture. And that is Matthew 5, 16. And what that says is, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify not you but the father who is in heaven amen hallelujah, That's good hallelujah. Word. That's good now word. i added a few you know words in there the not you part but you get my point amen <laughs> amen, amen. That's hallelujah good word. hallelujah we talk here about the good news of jesus christ being the thing that we build our lives upon but did you know that you are the living good news to those around you amen Ooh, yeah. they read you as a living epistle Amen. How they see Jesus through you. Hallelujah. And they should be receiving you and your life as good news. Through Mm. you, they should learn that God is a healer. Mm. Through you, they should learn that God is a provider. And are you, are you getting my point? (laughs) Amen. Hallelujah. It's crystal. Crystal clear. I hope it's crystal. Don't make me get a preacher. Okay. (laughs) But, uh, you're always prophesying. I'll be trying to rein in my preach, but I feel it coming on. You know, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm reining it in, Lord. I'm reining it in. But, But I just want to encourage you to be the good news of Jesus Christ. Not Mm -hmm. just build your life on it, but be the good news of Jesus Christ in Mm -hmm. this world. You are the light of the world. You are the salt of this earth. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. What a privilege. What a privilege and an an honor. honor. Yes, it is. Amen. Yes, it is. Oh, my God. I don't... Man, that stirred up my... I don't know about you, but I got a little... (laughs) My baby just jumped. That's all right. Hallelujah. That's right. Praise God. Well, let's go into prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for the privilege of bearing your work in this earth and being the living representative Mm -hmm. of your son in the earth. God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We have received your good news, and now we can be your good news. And we just receive that by faith in Jesus' mighty name. name. Amen and amen. Amen. I just want to stop right there and start praising them. I know. It's a good time. It's a good time. Hallelujah. But we are here for a purpose. So we're going to go forward with that purpose. If you are here for the first time, again, we say welcome. And we want to share a little bit about who we are. You want to tell them a little bit about who we are? I would are? love to. I would love to. I want to talk about our vision. Our vision is very clear. We want to provide low or no cost avenues of broadcasting for ministries and churches to spread the good news about Jesus Christ all over the world. Amen. That vision is clear. And how are we going to do that? We're going to do that through various outreach events, various mission trips, various uh, uh, tools using technology, using all of the state of the art technology that I don't know anything <laughs> about. Okay. But we have people here who are excellent in that. And it's all for the expansion of the kingdom in God, of the kingdom of God. So you see how our vision and our mission station statement comes together. Hallelujah. And when it comes together so expertly because it is the Lord doing it, it makes a powerful impact in the world. Amen. And it does make an impact in the world. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you all the testimonies. Um, We did mention them in our our previous um, videos. You can always go back and rewatch that. But IGBN is making an impact in this earth. Amen. Indeed, we are. And and we just want to also just say thank you 
for uh, how you help us in your prayers and in your financial support, because it is those things. And of course, his God's grace that is upon us Amen. that enables us to continue to do the work. You know, we have uh, our, our mission trips that are part of the outreach and the Lord is blessing uh, minister uh, Sherry right here because she's going on a mission trip yeah, to right. Mexico. Mm -hmm. Yes. And look, it, it takes finances for all of this. And so we're asking you uh, to sow as the Lord would lead you into this good ground. Tell us about that mission trip. Oh, yeah. So um, IGBN has a connection with uh, Kingdom Living. That's a uh, Prophet Bobby Hogan's mm -hmm. ministry, him and mm -hmm. his uh, wife, Teresa, mm -hmm. um, they've come down on the regular. And um, in fact, they're coming back. But we'll talk about that in, in a minute. Um, but he asked me to go on their uh, Mexico um, trip. And that's coming up uh, actually this uh, this coming week. Mm -hmm. And so November 7th through 11, I will be in Mexico. And um, but you'll still see me here because I will be actually reporting from Mexico to hear about what's going on over there. Amen? Yes, and that's important because we want you to see how your financial seeds are working. Glory to God, how that, that harvest is coming up. And so the woman of God is going to be there. She's our, our roving reporter. All I am right. now. <laughs> amen, amen. See, we can make an opportunity out of all of it, okay? Uh, yes, we can. And we don't yes, want to miss can. that door being open. Glory to God. And I know you said on one of the previous shows when I said that you're going to speak in this this fluent Spanish. Well, you know what? That that anointing of uh, of clear and precise Spanish is going to fall upon I you. It. Hallelujah. I receive it. I receive Not it. only will you be able to speak clearly, but you will interpret clearly. Amen. I'm telling you, you ain't seen nothing yet. I, what the Lord I, is going to do. I receive it. I receive it. Well, he's already grown my language in the in the last two months. Uh, more than in the last, I think, when did I go down there? I went to New Mexico in 2008, yeah, that's right. mm -hmm. and I've been trying to learn Spanish ever <laughs> since then. So, like, over a decade, I in but two months, now, I've, I've grown more in the last two months in this language than I have trying it on my own for, like, the last decade. It is for a time <laughs> such as this. Such as this. Amen. Yes, Praise yes. God. God is good. Yes, he <laughs> You is. just need motivation in the Holy Ghost. That's it. That's <laughs> <laughs> of course, he is your motivation. Mm -hmm. Well, he's mine. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a lot of events here. We have our own that we host, but then we open it up to other uh, Christian um, performers and uh, pastors and churches and organizations to have their events here. And not just events, but also basically anything we use to promote God's word um, and our mission, we open up and make available to you to help you um, promote God's word and, and the vision that he's given you. You want to tell them a little bit about how we can help them I, in their vision? Indeed, I would love to because it's just a wonderful opportunity and platform that the Lord has given us where we will uh, be, we're an avenue for you to um, send us a, a videotape. Perhaps you have some some tapes already of you preaching the word. If you're a pastor, if you're a ministry, if you, you, know, you, you have a church, look, you may have something already that you can submit to us via email and we'll vet that. We'll take a look at it. And that gives you an opportunity to be on our network. And then also, let's say you don't have uh, anything already recorded. You can give us a call, 314-499-6200. Glory to God. And when you call that number, you can speak with someone and we can schedule you to come in, take a tour, and we'll, and we'll talk about how you can record here. Because let me tell you, the, the gospel of Jesus Christ, it must go all around the world. And he's given us an Amen. opportunity and a platform to do that. And so, you know, when you go to our website, and I know I'm a little, a little out of the, 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 oh, the, no, the norm fine. here. When you go to the website, it gives you an opportunity to sow. You'll see various ways, okay, to sow into IGBN. As the woman of God is going on a mission trip representing iGospel Broadcasting Network and her ministry, God Pleasers, let me tell you that that is a great time now is a great time to sow into that. Monies are needed now. Monies will always be needed hmm. to help in the expansion of Jesus Amen. Christ. So we ask you, 
we ask you, we, we, we pray that the Holy Ghost is tugging at your heart. And let Amen. me tell you, no amount is too small. Amen. All right. It's whatever God says for you to do. Amen. And you can go to the website www.igbn.org. You can contribute. There are all different methods of payment. And we say thank you in advance for your obedience to do that. Amen. And and let me just jump on the train of getting out of order a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's rolling. <laughs> since since well. the prophet did it. It's since rolling. the prophet did it. I mean, it's already rolling downhill. We might as well give it a little push. <laughs> Oh, Lord Jesus. That's what happens when you do stuff just Mm -hmm. by the Spirit. (laughs) Anyway, I just want to throw in a little scripture here that God gave me earlier this morning and he was speaking to me about. And uh, this scripture, it really touched my heart. And um, but it it was talking, it was Jesus. So you want to pay attention. Okay. And um, but it says, and this is important. Mm -hmm. This is important. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, it wasn't Jesus, so but it's still important because mm-hmm. it's in Proverbs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, Lord Jesus, it's in the Word. That's all we word. need to know. That's it. <laughs> I was reading all over, so, so I'll be getting them confused sometimes. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's in Proverbs, but basically, it says, "Don't withhold good mm-hmm. from those that it's in your power to do good." Don't say, mm. "I'll give it to you tomorrow when I got it today." Mm-hmm. Now, why am I saying this right now? God has given some of you provision. And maybe it's just a little bit of something. Maybe it's $2, $3, $10. Maybe it's Mm $1,000. Maybe it's $100,000. I don't know what your level of provision is. Mm -hmm. But don't withhold it and say, well, I'll give it next week. I'll give it tomorrow. God is saying give it today because tomorrow is not promised to any man. Mm -hmm. It's not promised to you that you'll have that ability tomorrow. I mean, something could happen to you. Something could happen to... I mean, it, it's just... It's not promise. If you have it today, give it today. He said, don't withhold it. Amen? Amen. That's good. That's good. Praise God. You know, uh, we can't outgive God. Oh, you no, think? It's never going to happen. Can't. We can't we outgive can't. him. There's never too much that you can give. Mm-mm. And so we just thank you. Again, we're going to point you to the website, igbn. Dot org. Amen. All the ways to be a blessing and pray. Not only are your finances mm. important, but your prayers, your prayers, uplifting us, uplifting the staff, mm-hmm. or uplifting us in our outreach, mm-hmm. uh, of the prayer of protection. And we're going to pray a special prayer for you oh, at God. the end of this because you will be embarking on this yeah. mission trip. Yes, I will. Amen. Mm-hmm. Praise God. Well, let's continue. We're almost there. We're almost there. Well, we're getting there. Did we tell them about the actual events that are coming I, up? You know what? I, I think know. We, we got so out of order, we forgot the, oh my. the entire purpose of this video. Oh, my. <laughs> well, well, we'll tell you. We'll tell you. I know you're waiting. We'll tell you that on Thursday and Friday... <laughs> October 27th and 28th, Prophet Bobby Hogan will be back here in the St. Louis area yes. for his two-day revival, hallelujah, that is starting nightly at 7 p.m. the 27th and 28th of October. He's going to be here. Glory to God. And we don't want to miss that. And then also the weekend of what the world calls Halloween. Uh, we're going to have not Halloween celebrations, but we're going to do a 48-hour word a thon all right? What is that? Well, the word is going to be coming forth constantly. There are going to be different speakers who are going to, uh, uh, th- there's going to be video for you to see throughout this 48 hour period that is going to be a blessing to you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And then also uh, coming up on Friday, November 4th will be the Christian Business Connection Leadership Breakfast that will mm-hmm. be held here at iGospel Broadcasting Network. We want to make sure that you Come on out for that. If you are if you have a business, if you're a ministry leader, come on out because the networking and information is excellent. And then on that same night, Friday, November 4th, we have our monthly IGBN game mm-hmm. night. Now, we won't get into details on the com- on any competitiveness or exactly, yes. you know, the mm-hmm. same people who seem to win. We're not going to talk about that. I think I want a few the last time. We're going to talk about how we're going to have a great time. And this is a free event. You can come out, all types of board games, basketball. We're going to be doing Just it all. come hang so out with us. So we want you to do that. And it's going to be right here at IGBN, 13754 Shoreline Drive in Earth City, Missouri. 
Yes, indeed. Well, I don't want them to forget that there is an anointed prophet who's going to be in the house on Saturday, November 5th from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Oh my God, this woman of God has a word in her belly and you don't want to miss it. I believe her name might be Prophetess Nona Thomas. Oh my God, oh my. what an awesome a woman. I think she's sitting next to me. Oh, bless <laughs> you him. You want to tell them a little bit about your service? Bless him. Bless him. Right now, we're having services on the first and third Saturdays at 3 p.m. Glory to God. And it's our prophetic Holy Ghost services. And we just really let the Lord lead. You know, we recently had uh, our service in the expo. Mm -hmm. And that was, you know, not in the usual form that we do anything. In fact, but you were one of so our uh, panelists mm -hmm. that we're talking about on how to build teams. We had mm -hmm. someone talking about uh, international ministry and we had someone talking about how to step out on faith. Mm -hmm. And each one of our panelists were experts with the Holy Ghost says experts mm -hmm. in those areas because they have walked it out. Yeah. Glory to God. And so we we know that it's going to be a Holy Ghost time at these services. We can't give you all the details, but we're going to tell you that God will be here. So our next one is Saturday, November, November 5th at 3 p.m. That is so true. And the very next day, for those uh, those of you who like to do things on Sundays and not Saturdays, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like to do them both. Personally, I can go to church every day of the week. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and, uh, but we have a powerhouse in the house. I mean, this woman has so much energy. She could literally light up the city with the bundle of energy that Indeed. she has contained in her tiny little Indeed, indeed. <laughs> Although she's not so tiny. She's very tall mm -hmm. <laughs> for Beautiful. a lady. Beautiful. But what a woman of God, I mean, and the anointing. Yes. Pastor Mary Cox is going to be in the house, and she's here uh, at 1.30, from 1.30 to 3.30. You don't want to miss it. You at don't want to miss it. I would at just all. be here for both days. Don't at, pick and choose. Just be right. here for both days. And if you can't be here in person, join us online. Amen? That's right. She always has a powerful on time word. She surely And, and does. I can say that's how we have been blessed with uh, speakers that have come here to IGBN. You know, uh, I'll just share with you and that something that uh, God told both of us mm -hmm. uh, in the very beginning was that uh, iGospel Broadcasting Network would be like an Azusa mm, street. He surely did say that And to both he of is us. performing that. He's he surely doing is. it. He's doing it. Don't miss out on what's going on at Azusa Street. Revival. Mm -hmm. Revival. Revival. It's breaking out. Mm -hmm. You want to be a part of it. You don't want to be those looking back and be like, oh man, if only. If only. No. If only I had been a part of that. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. Well, we have been doing some great things. We have a telephone coming up in December, yes. December 17th. Yes. And um, if you've joined us online or in person before, you know about our telethons. Almost everything we do here, we do at no charge or at the smallest possible charge possible and usually at a deficit to us. And so we need to recoup some of those costs so that we can continue to give out freely. Um, and the way that we do that is through our fundraising event, the telethon. And it's really more of a blessing to you guys. Sometimes we pay more out than we receive oh my, in. Oh my. But even that, we do it for the glory of God. We yes. usually have somewhere between 15 to 20 uh, preachers in the house. Um, most of them live. Yes. Most of them live. Yes. Some, some they, they're in other states and they do uh, come in through Zoom or they send in their videos beforehand. But most of them are live mm -hmm. and not just preaching. I mean, we have mimes, we have praise dancers, we have singers and, and musicians. Yes. And last time we added poetry. I'm not going to say who, I'm not going to say who spoke. But let's just say they were trying to get her on board for about a year and a half. For a long time. I mean, I heard she was anointed, but I'm not sure I agree. <laughs> Highly anointed. The poetry was simply beautiful that Minister Gallagher uh, just shared. And, and one thing that was so special about it um, that um, when, when I think you shared with mm -hmm. the people, that was the first time your your poetry is just something that has been so private to oh, you yes, that you the Lord ministers to you minister mm -hmm. to yourself through mm -hmm. the work through yeah. the poetry and so 
you sharing that with the world was just very powerful. Yes. Very powerful. And, and we're adding some poets. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some coming up. I'm not going to say who yet, but uh, I'll, I will say that, unlike me, they're award-winning. <laughs> okay? Oh, my. Oh so, my. Um, be expecting. Be expecting. Be expecting. And knowing it. Uh, I will say this particular person is an anointed man of God. Mm -hmm. But if you're a poet, please let us know. We would love to gather your you into the house. If you're a singer, if you're a musician, uh, if you're a preacher, how can they contribute? You surely can. One, by giving us a call at 314-499-6200. Or you can upload your video and email us at igospelbn at gmail.com. You see, we want you to submit that video, to submit that content. We do let you know that we vet it. We definitely take a look at it to make sure it's Christian content that we can air on our network. But we want you to submit it. We want to yes. give you the opportunity to submit it. And don't hide your light under a bushel. Mm. Amen. That's the word. Praise you just, God. You just dropped the mic again. I just dropped the mic again. <laughs> well, since I started, Al, would you like to close us, Al? Oh, indeed. Because we already talked about the donation, didn't we? We did. Do you want to just touch one more time and sure. give them that opportunity? Sure. You can go to igbn.org, and when you go to our website, you will see all the various ways to donate. Okay? All of the various ways to donate. Everything is safe. Uh, everything is encrypted. You don't have to worry about any you know, any challenges with your card information. Let me just say, mm -hmm. some people like to send stuff in snail mail. How can they oh. do that? Ooh. Well, that's that's a little over me. I'm not familiar with snail mail. I don't know how to tell and them to the, do that. Do the actual mail. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's so. what that's what us new folk call <laughs> Praise the Lord. Old folk stuff. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Just joking, Ron. Just joking. Praise the Lord. You can Nobody uses email mail anymore. Oh my. Physical mail. Physical mail. You can uh, mail it to 13754 Shoreline Drive. That's S H O R E L I N E Drive. Amen. Earth City, Missouri, 63045. You know, when I just had Epiphany on, 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 on where we are, Earth City, we're in good ground. Mm. Amen. We are in good ground. We are good ground mm. here of the earth, right here in Earth City. Be a part. Don't okay. do. You're trying to make me preach. Come on. You're trying to make me preach. It's all right. Let me just share a little something that God showed me last week, and I'm not going to preach the whole thing, but I will be preaching the whole thing at a later date. Mm -hmm. So God showed me this, right? Mm -hmm. Genesis one, okay, chapter one, mm -hmm. on the third day, mm -hmm. right? He separated the waters on the second day. Mm -hmm. And then on the third day, he made all the waters gather together so that the dry land would appear, which is the earth. Yes. We're in Earth City, are yes, we not? we are. Now, notice this. God told me, so on the sixth day, he created man, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, he made man, unlike all the other beings on the earth, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from something, not yes. out of nothing. Everything else he created out of nothing, just his word. But man, he created out of something. He created him out of earth. Now, notice this. On the third day when he, um, when the dry land appeared, uh -huh. okay, he commanded it to bring forth seed. Mm -hmm. He didn't speak seed be like he did light be. The seed was already in the earth. The, the land, the earth already had the power of multiplication and production power within it. And he commanded it, bring forth your seed mm. and produce something with it. Yeah. Oh, don't yeah, make that's me good. preach. That's good. And so when he created man out of the land, out of the earth, Man already had within him from the moment of creation the ability to bring forth seed and to produce a harvest from that which is sown into him. I mean, does that not make you want to preach? Oh, yeah, and it jump makes you want to run. run. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Amen. Amen. Further validation Praise of where we God. are, how God and we put are us in Earth, Earth City. City. I'm just saying that it's Earth. Mm -hmm. And the earth was created with what? Mm -hmm. The power of multiplication and the ability to produce. We are in the right place at the right time. And you want to be here with us. Hallelujah. Amen? Hallelujah. I want to say, I mentioned earlier in our 
broadcast that um, uh, the woman of God, God's servant, was going to be traveling oh, yeah. on a mission trip. Mm -hmm. So you're getting ready to do that in oh, just yeah. a few short just days. So days. we're going to mm -hmm. pray right yes. now uh, in the name and through the blood of Jesus. And I ask our listeners to pray along with me as we pray for you in your travels. So right now, Thank Heavenly you. Father, in the name and through the blood of Jesus. Yes. Father, we come bringing your daughter, your servant, your baby girl, Minister Sherry Gallagher, before you, God. Mm -hmm. You know this ordained trip, God. You ordained did this trip, mm. God. God, I ask you right now to crown your servant's head with divine mm. wisdom that you give, you download in her. You've already started, God, but you continue to download in her all mm. even increased, expanded yes. gifts and talents so that she will deliver a right now on time yes. word to all that she comes in contact with. Yes. God, we just place a hedge of protection around her and the transportation that she's taking there, God, in Jesus' name. We thank you, God, that when her feet, hallelujah, hit the ground in Mexico, hallelujah, her anointed feet, when they hit the ground in Mexico, God, I thank you for the sparks that are going to come from out of her heels right now, God, in Jesus' name. As you anoint her, God, to do the work while there, God, I thank you for unexpected blessings. I thank you for unexpected deliverance of the people that she's going to come in contact with. God, anoint her hands. Hallelujah. Anoint her hands, God, with your oil. Hallelujah. As she touches, as she as you use her to heal and deliver your people god i thank you that she is a light into a dying world i thank you god for everyone who is traveling with her in the ministry god a hedge of protection around them as well god master only you can do it and we thank you in advance for doing it we give you the glory we thank you for all the resources we thank you for those who are listening right now who are looking right now god we thank you for them sowing into this ministry this outreach ministry this mission ministry we thank you god we give you the glory nobody like you we seal this prayer with the blood in jesus name amen mm. mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. we bless him we bless him we bless him father we just amen. we just thank you we just thank you amen. we thank you the listeners we the listeners and the and the viewers, we Amen. thank you all right now for taking the time. You Amen. do it every week, and we, we just thank you. They've been doing it for such a yes, long time. Yes. They've been faithful, yes, they have. and we thank you for your faithfulness. Anything else that you'd like to say before we close out? I just want to say, remember that you are the living epistle of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. She just dropped the mic again. She keep dropping the mic. Mm. Hallelujah. Well, Father, we thank you. We thank you for those who are watching. We thank you for all right now for your people. We just thank you for your people, for your daughters, for your sons, for your servants, God. Continue to keep a hedge of protection around them. And peace, we speak peace, peace, peace over them in their households, in their businesses, in their ministries, in their cars right now, God, in the name and through the blood of Jesus. We love you. We give you the glory in Jesus' in name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. And be the glory. Amen and amen. God bless.